Gosh, I don't know if they like bubble with you. Okay. Ready? Sure. Yeah. Are you sure? Sure. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Hun the Hound here with World Wild Fur Camp. We just want to make a, a quick announcement and some updates. We have some exciting things for you. First of all, a lot of people are asking, what time do I get to camp? Do you know what time people should get to camp, Delta? 1 p.m. That's when registration opens. You can probably get there a little bit early if you want to find some good parking. 12.30 at the earliest. We'll still be setting up, so don't get there too early. Now, what should we pack at World Wild Fur Camp? There's quite a few things you should pack. If you're a fursuiter, obviously bring your fursuit. For clothing, you need to pack your clothing, preferably in a mesh bag. You want to make sure you have enough clothing for the whole weekend. You're also going to want to make sure that you have all your toiletries, your shampoo, your conditioner, your body wash, your towels. So the, the point we're trying brush. to make, yeah, the point we're trying to make is wash your ass. Don't be a musky husky. Don't please. be a musky husky. Bring clothes. If we find out that you didn't bring clothes or toiletry or stuff like that, we'll ask you to leave and no refund. Um, we're very serious about this because we've obviously had problems with it before. That being said, why are we asking you to bring your clothes in like a separate container? That's because to protect against bed bugs and coming in and out of the camp, all of the, uh, the clothing luggage, not like your normal luggage or your fursuit stuff, goes through like a dryer slash heater and it kills the bugs if you have it. Not saying you do, but you know, if you're a musky husky, we might want to just be for him. But it, it's for everybody. As so, well as other camp stuff that needs to be brought, bedding. Bedding, yes. Bring a pillow. That will need to go through the through the heater too. If you have like a special purple pillow or anything like that, just take that out. Put the the the, the pillow case to go through the heater. So that is very important. I want you guys to know that it scares a lot of people. They think their fur suits are going to go through. No. And if your fur suit is with your like clothing. Please remember to bring it out. Don't leave a paw in there. You're gonna have a bad time. Now, what to expect? You get there at one, you hit Reg. Reg is in one of the first buildings in the front. And you gotta be quiet when you go in there because that building also shares, it, we also share that building with some animals on the other side of it, some like little pretty crawlers. We're not gonna tell you what they are, but don't worry about it. Um, but that's, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> but that's, you'll go to Reg and then when you sign up, then you'll, you know, you'll get your guild and you'll be shown where your guild is at and everything. And if you're a little late, just find one of the staff members. We'll probably be in the main hall kind of just doing our thing and we'll get you regged in and get your stuff in and get it through the heater. And then we'll get you going. Another thing to bring, power strips. Because there is like one power plug, like like two power plugs per side of the, of the cabin and maybe like some in the center, right? There is one on each side, one in the middle, and one in each bathroom. Okay, so we're kind of limited on power. Everybody wants to charge their phone, so make sure you bring a power strip, or at least if you're going with a group of people, at least one of you bring a power strip. Also, guys, remember, we're, you know, we're guests at the YMCA. We want to clean up after ourselves. You can bring food and snacks and stuff like that, but just please clean up after yourself. Anything else we should expect? Oh, this is my first year doing a rave. I'm very excited about it. We've got some very special things set up for you. So Rave is gonna be a little bit different. It's not all EDM. So the European furries that make fun of us for having all EDM, it's like Planters Peanuts. It's 25% less EDM. So I'm really excited for that. And we've got a lot of fun things for you guys. And, and since the theme of this year is Legends of Piracy, there's gonna be an actual treasure hunt that you and the other groups have to work together on. And if you work together, that's gonna be the only way to do it. So if you guys have any questions, ask in the comments, hit the World Wild Fur, World Wild Fur Camps with an S, dot com, and hit the website. You can join a telegram, you can ask us questions and just learn all the neat stuff. And we're gonna have a good time, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have a good time. Bring your friends. You can register online ahead of time or you can register on site. As you can tell, we're very excited about it. I can't wait to see you there. This is gonna be a unique experience if you've never been before. This is not a con. This is a camp. This is where you find your long-term friends and just have a good, relaxing time. The Vice Chairman Hun the Hound for World Wild Fur Camp and Guild Guard Delta Evergreen, thank you very much and have a good evening.